everyone, welcome back to my new model Barmy channel and part five of my Engage Crawl C layout. So let's see what I've been up to. Okay, so what I've done now is moved the tanks, my storage tanks, over to this side of the layout where the um, the crane end is going to be, I suppose, uh, and, and the sort of loading area. Which leaves me with a dilemma because I, if you remember previously, I'd done a sort of a walled compound for these tanks, which I really wasn't over enamoured with. So I've been that idea, which rather leaves me with a bit of a, a quandary about what I do with this space space here. So I've decided that this building here is likely to be the base commander's um, office stroke residence stroke building. Um, Rumour has it, he's a little bit miffed that they've put an Orlikan battery on his balcony, but it is wartime after all, so he's going to have to make allowances for that. However, what I thought I could do is uh, make a, uh, it's not so much of a drill square, although it might be sort of here, just this part here, but in front of this building here, I wanted to put a mast for the base so that I could fly the, the white ensign from the mast. So um, that is my next job. The first thing I did um, was, was make a mast. So I've made this out of metal rod uh, because if I'm sort of leaning across to clean the track on the far side of the layout, I thought if I make it in plastic, I'm gonna catch it uh, and it's gonna break. And I wanna rig this as well. So this is just made up out of bits and pieces, um, which I thought would you know, kind of work. I've used some little plastic um, scraps around the bottom that I can use to tie the rigging round. Um, so I thought, right, I need something to mount this mast to. So what I came up with was, let's just move this, get this out of the way. I came up with this. So this is just plastic art layer upon la layer at uh, reducing dimensions for each one. Um, I don't know what you would call that structure, but a platform. Should we, yeah, we'll call it a platform. So the mast sits in the hole on the top. And I thought, well, that in itself, um, yeah, that's okay. That will fill that gap reasonably nicely, but it's, it's devoid of a couple of features. So given my visits to other or to um, Royal Navy historic dockyards, I thought it'd be nice to have a, hi a historic cannon of some kind there, which would have been displayed perhaps from the Trafalgar days or something like that. So, um, call me insane, but I've built two of these. So, I don't know whether it's gonna focus on that, hopefully it will. Um, so they are historic naval cannons. Now each one of those, if I put my fingernail in, you'll see how small they are. Each one of those cannons is made up of 13 individual components. So I scratch build, built these and yes, I probably need a sanity check, but um, I think they're gonna look quite good. So um, I'm just gonna put all that lot together and we'll have a look and see what it looks like on the layout. Okay. There we go. I think that fills that, or partially fills that area quite nicely. Um, and I think that looks all right. So let's just zoom in, have a look at me cannons. There we go. So yeah, we'll get all that primed up and painted, but um, I'm happy with that. And I think that space there will make into, uh, you know, just a small parade square something like that so yeah that works all right I reckon so the other thing I've been up to is um, making a few gap fillers for the uh, layout there's a few spaces that needed some bits and pieces put in there for added detail so I thought I'd make some um, sort of memorials which I guess would be uh, great war memorials so in this case I've actually used the um, the screw from the Corvette, which of course I didn't need because I waterlined it. So I've mounted that on a, on a plinth uh, as a kind of uh, memorial. Um, I've also made this one, 
which is, let's get this to focus, hopefully, there we go, uh, which is an anchor, which uh, is mounted against a, uh, sort of like a headstone, which would have names inscribed of the crew that perhaps gave their lives in the Great War. Um, so that's another little one. So just a scratch built anchor out of bits and pieces. Uh, the red bit is a bit off um, uh, a toothbrush head, <laughs> an oral B toothbrush head, um, which was quite handy. But uh, so that's that. Uh, and also, I've made a when this thing decides to focus. Come on, uh, a figurehead. So it will focus in a minute. There we go. So. Yeah, so that's a, a figurehead, which is a, I think is a Pricer N-Gage uh, Lady Passenger, which I've modified slightly and uh, mounted her on the sort of um, beginnings of a bowsprit, which is on a, on a plinth. So I'll find some areas for these to sit as well. Right, so I've installed the lighting now and uh, I've just put the Corvette back in with the crane just to see how it's all shaping up. Um, so I wanted to just see what the light levels were like to give me an idea of the kind of tone of the paints that I was going to use for the buildings. But I'm quite happy that there's sufficient light now, although if it's a dark sort of hall that I'm exhibiting in, I might have to light the ship from the front because it's a bit dark at its front edge. So I might need to give that a bit of thought, but um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, basically, it's uh, a couple of 12 volt LED diffused panels that I've put up there. So, uh, which is supposed to be daylight, slightly cool for me. Um, not cool as in that's cool, um, it's cool as in light level. Um, it could be probably nearer daylight um, in an ideal world, but it'll do. So after a day's um, marathon airbrushing session, um, I've got the buildings more or less painted, or at least the base coats on. I haven't done all the roofs yet, um, but now I'd had the lighting set up, I just wanted to see what kind of colors I wanted to go for, and I'm quite happy with the way that's gone so far. So the next step uh, is probably gonna be Detailing, weathering, uh, I've got to paint the roofs, obviously all the little bits of sundry bits and start adding all the sort of furniture along the front there, some um, tying up bollards or whatever you call them. Um, so yeah, oh and I've uh, given the sea a coat of paint as well and a varnish, uh, so that's coming on. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one there now. So. Thanks for watching, uh, and I hope you join me for the next episode, uh, where hopefully I'll uh, have made a little bit more progress. So uh, anyway, bye for now, and uh, take care, everyone. See you soon. Cheers.